Hi guys, it's me Carrie, and I'm back with one more lip balm review for you. This Disney Princess lip balm, I want to say it was a gift from my friend Julie in a friend mail, and if I am naming the wrong person, I apologize. This is why I need to get to reviewing things, especially from friend mails, right after I receive them so I don't lose track. I'm 99% sure this came from Julie though, so thank you so much, my sweet friend. This, again, is a Disney Princess lip balm. It is actually distributed by Walgreens, so it is made by Walgreens. There's some info on the back there if you can read it and want to stop and pause, you're more than welcome to. Um, I've heard of people finding these in their Walgreens. I never saw them in mine. I don't know if they're even still available or not, but I know that my particular closest Walgreens gets very, very, very little in terms of lip balm goodness. I have to go to, there's three in my general area, but the one that's nearest to me where I get my prescriptions and stuff never seems to get good lip balm stuff. Uh, the other two are hit or miss. Occasionally I'll find stuff, but these I've never witnessed with my own two eyes in person before in a Walgreens. So I don't know if they were widely distributed or not. But this is a Prin Disney Princess lip balm in cherry flavor. And it says cherry flavored specifically. So I have high hopes that it will actually have a cherry taste because I really, you guys know, I'm it, one of my biggest pet peeves with lip balm is when it says flavored and it just has a scent. Call it scented if it's scented, call it flavored if it's flavored, don't call it anything that it's not actually, you know, going to follow through on. But I really, really, really like this tin. I love that it features, I have never seen The Princess and the Frog, but Tiana is very underrepresented on Disney merch, I feel like. Um, Rapunzel is my, it, I always get into the technicalities with this. I don't know if Moana is considered a princess or not. I don't think technically that she is. If she is, she's my favorite Disney princess and Rapunzel is my second favorite. However, if Moana is not considered a princess, then Rapunzel is my fave. And Elsa's my favorite, but she's a queen. So she's my favorite queen in Disney. I know, it's confusing. And um, Snow White, I just think, I, I think it's really kind of cool. Even though I am a blonde, there are so many blonde princesses. It's nice to see two brunette princesses and just the one blonde. And she is my favorite blonde princess. I can definitely say that. So it's nice to see these three on here. And it says heart strong. And it's just really cute. And I love how Rapunzel's just got like the, you know, tough as nails expression and Tiana is gorgeous in her green dress and I love you know how can you not love Snow White with her little bluebird but anyway it's a nice tin it's a nice substantial tin it's 0.39 ounces of product inside I'm trying to see if it's a twisty or just a pull off okay it doesn't feel like it's twisting at all it also doesn't feel like it's pulling off though so let me say luckily I have a paper towel here. I may not even be able to get it off with that. This thing is really tightly on there, and I don't want to break a nail, if possible, because my nails actually look halfway decent for once. Let's see if I can do it. Whoa, this is like Fort Knox. This is seriously like breaking into a bank. Okay, hold on. I'm going to hit pause and go get one of those rubber doohickey things that helps you open jars. Let me see if that works. Hold on. I seriously can't even imagine if you gave this to a child because that thing is on there tight, tight, tight. All right, let's try it with the rubber thing. It doesn't turn. Oh my gosh, are you serious? It will not open. Okay, this is gonna be the worst video ever if I can't actually even get the product out. What the holy heck is going on with this thing? I seriously don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this open and I'm not gonna get like you know, something that's going to ding up the, the tin, I may actually have to do this video another time when my husband is home and maybe can get this open for me because I truly cannot get this lid to budge. That is so annoying. And I'm going to still play this video. I mean, I'm still broadcasting it for you guys because you need to be made aware of the fact that these are made cuckoo crazy. I legitimately, I'm trying with all of my might and I cannot get this lid off. So, yeah, it's an interrupted video, an interrupted review because I can't actually do the review. But as I said, I'm posting this anyway because what the heck, Walgreens? I, I legitimately don't understand this. There's no seal on it. There's no plastic, you know, holding it around the edge. But it literally feels like it's super glued shut or something. 
I cannot get this to budge, not even an inch, not even a millimeter. It won't turn, it won't do anything. I cannot get this lid off. And I'm like actually hurting myself now. Now I'm trying even to risk my nails. I can't get it open. All right, guys, so that's really super, super annoying, <laughs> but I want you to be made aware. And Walgreens, what the heck? That's ridiculous. I guess I'll be reviewing this again sometime in the future if I can ever get the lid off, but um, it's really cute. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry, this is probably very unsatisfying. I know I'm irritated, <laughs> but all right, so I guess I'll shoot one more video because this is frustrating the heck out of me. Thanks for watching guys. Love you so much and I'll be back soon with more stuff. Hopefully with lids that come off. Bye guys.